Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you three um, of the best loadouts for PvP you can have. So in this video I'm going to be showing you like the best for if you want to just, you know, kill them fast. But the thing is you'll be slow for the first one. The second one is if you just like, you know, kind of run, want to run around the map pretty quickly and still get kills. And then the final one is just like a an average player, like the thing most people would want. So yeah, let's check them out. So the first one we have here is a, uh, since it's heavy, I also made a, like a juggernaut outfit with it. Um, so the outfit, or no, the, uh, the loadout you're going to use is the Scar H. And then uh, it's, it's up to you to what site you want to use. I personally prefer the red dot site, but if you prefer the ACOG, uh, then choose it. And um, not really much to say about it, just make it. So you're gonna all the first thing you want to do with the gun is um, you know add whatever sight you want. That's like the first thing you should get if you get a gun. Try to get a sight on it. And then the next thing I prefer to do is get the stubby grip that reduces the recoil by uh, a good amount and makes it so you can actually hit your shots. But if that's not a problem for you, use the vertical grip. So, uh, once you get the vertical or stubby grip, then I recommend using a suppressor. You don't need a suppressor, but it just kind of helps a little. Um, even though, you know, it doesn't help that much, it's just kind of a cool thing to add on to it. And then a tracer, you don't really, that doesn't matter that much. And then the magazine. I personally prefer the 20 magazine, but, you know, since you're already going to be going slow anyway, uh, you can use the 30 magazine if you want. And for the secondary, I personally recommend the Desert Eagle, the highest damage pistol, and you can also add a sight onto it. And if you wanted, uh, I don't know, it's kind of broken right now, but they might add a suppress for it, for it soon. And not really much else you can customize with this other than like a tracer. But the next outfit we have are just, um, is a kind of like a, this is the, the light outfit, I guess you could say. So we're using the MP5 because I'm pretty sure it makes you run just as fast as if, as if you're running with nothing out. So it's actually really good. And th there are some other things you can use like the P90 or UMP45. All of them run at the, around the same speed from some videos I've watched and testing myself. So um, with the MP5, you're going to want to add the suppressor or the Chimera 300 because that is actually cheaper than the suppressor, I'm pretty sure. But you don't need the suppressor on this one. Uh, you want to add the rail mount and then the sight, just like before. Uh, you know, you can use ACOG if you prefer it, red dot if you don't. Um, the tracer, you know, the same thing. The magazine, I personally prefer to keep it at 30, because 50 makes you move a little slower. Even though it does not affect it that much, it is still, I personally prefer to get the max speed. And then you can hide the long barrel, and then you can get the uh, long barrel if you want. Even though it will lower the damage a little, as you can see from the right here. Um, it will make it so you can hit further away. So, um, that's, that's pretty good. That's up to you to decide. And then the secondary I, I recommend is the Browning High Power. It's this pistol. All you can really add on this is a pistol. Uh, I personally recommend this suppressor because, you know, it's just cheaper. I don't really see the point of this one unless you're trying to, like, make the pistol kick something else. But, um, you don't have to have a pistol or anything. You can just keep the pistol as the same. And then the final one is uh the like standard one i guess you could say so you, normally you would use the g360 for this the compact version and then you could also use some other things like the m4a1 or the mk18 or uh these are all you know th different things that are around the same speed now um the thing is with the m4a1 and mk18 the mk18 is actually different from the uh m4a1 because it's it makes you run a little faster i believe and um it also has a little more spread and recoil on it so if you want to control it better i would pick the m4a1 if you are good at you know aiming i would recommend the mk18 the g360 uh also so I'm going to start off with making the loadout for this. 
So you normally I would add the suppressor on this, so you don't have to do it like always. Now you can add a stubby grip, even though there is not a, a lot of recoil on it already. But I personally recommend the stubby grip because I can't uh, just keep, I can't aim that well. And then we want to use the red dot sight rate cog. And also you can use the EO tech on some of these. Or, uh, e I don't really know how to pronounce it. But, um, <coughs> all sights really do work on this besides like the sniper scope. But, um, yeah, let's check out the next one, which is the M4A1. Now, what I recommend for this is, instead of the carry handle, I use the red dot sight. Or, I, actually, I normally I tend to use the ACOG for this one, but you can also use anything you like. And I use the vertical grip for this one and the, su the suppressor. All of my loadouts are kind of the same based on the same thing, like stubby grip, uh, red dot, and then suppressor, but this one is a little different. And then finally for the MK-18, uh, I had the suppressor, and then I have the EOTech, and then you can't add any grip on here, so you can't reduce the recoil at all, but you can still uh, change out the colors of these, but the 51 makes you run even slower, which will probably make you around the speed of the M4A1. So, depends um, if you want extra ammo or not, you could choose that. But I just recommend the, the starting one. And you can also change the barrel, same thing with last time. You get better velocity and range, you know, it'll like travel faster, and it can hit further. But the damage will go down a little, as you can see. It goes down by like, uh, like 40, t I don't know, but not much. <laughs> And then, uh, the pistols, the, I don't even, Markov, Mecha, I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, um, you don't really actually have to change anything with it, because you can't really change anything with it. But you can add a barrel adapter, which I don't even think does anything. Um, <clears throat> that's probably for if you're trying to make the gun look like a different gun. But, um, yeah, so, let's, um, now make the outfits for these. So the first one we have is this guy. Uh, so the uniform you're gonna want to use is Russia FBS and then uh, VYMPEL. I don't even want to try saying that. And then you're gonna use the vest Eximus. And then you can put all the attachments on here, or you can put your own attachments. And then the tan backpack. And then you would want to use the helmet, uh, the K6-3 Alton. And then you would want to use the goggles tan and then ski mask black. And then that's how you would make that one. The next one is this one. You would want to use the go on helmet, change hat, and choose cap. And then you would go on paint and then choose tan. And then mount and then, oh uh, well, wait, no, you wouldn't have the option for mount. You would click on side and choose mount. And then you can add knife and goggles or something if you'd like, but I just prefer to keep it like that. And then you can add the ski mask black and then goggles. And you can also add a headset if you'd like. But uh, I just prefer to keep it like that. And then you would go on uniform, USA, and choose sword gunner. Vest, change, and then you would choose uh, Apex Precision and CQB. Even though TCV also does look really good with it. And then you would just make it tan and put the tan hydration pack. And then you could put your attachments. And then finally is um, this one. Now, uh, I, you would go on Uniform, United Kingdom, and choose Special Reconnaissance Regiment. And then Vest, Change, Misc, and choose Eximus. And then um, you could put all the attachments. And then a Black Hydration Pack. And then Helmet, Change, Hats, and choose the Barrette. And then Facial, Ski Mask, Black. And then you would want to change the color of the barrette to green and then change this to the eye protection and yeah so um well i mean the first off is this a kind of like a russian juggernaut the second one is just like a u.s scout i guess you could say and the third one is an srr outfit so um yeah let's uh tr tr try all these out in pvp now